Hello everyone! In this tutorial, which is going to be part 3.1, I should say, we're gonna go for a body customization for a metahuman with an asset that has no skeleton, and we're gonna do it in this part entirely in Unreal Engine. Now, a couple of caveats before we do that. It needs to be a static mesh that is already in a pose that would fit a metahuman. If it doesn't fit, it's gonna be very hard to make it fit. There's a couple of things we need to take care about and all of these in this text, which we are not going to read and we're just going to jump into it. So first step, we need to find our preview for the body of whatever metahuman we're using and we need to send it to the zero of the scene. At the same time, we are going to grab our static mesh and what we'll do with our static mesh is we are going to send it on top of that preview that we just brought in. I remember to be parented everything needs to be mobile at the same time so it is preview number two we're gonna set it to none why am i doing this so i can do zero out and then we are both in the zero of the scene why am i moving them like this and why are they in the zero of the scene well you can see that there are a couple of issues with my cloth here that i may or may not want to modify so what i'll do now is i'm actually going to leave it as is we are not going to worry about it. but in case you need we're not going to worry about this because we're not going to be using the preview mesh. But in case you need to modify it, say you want the cloth to be a little lower on the ground uh, and say you're not bothered about this or you're going to use some sculpting to move this away, there's one thing you need to worry about and it is that the pivot point cannot stay on anything off zero. How do we modify that? We are in the zero of the world, we moved our cloth, and what we'll do now is go into the modeling tools, go into X form and edit pivot. And once we are on edit pivot, we can move the pivot to world origin. That means that now the pivot is gonna stay down there. That means that now the positioning is gonna respect what we want to, and everything is going to be awesome. Now we're not gonna do that now because this one fits Again, we're not going to be using the preview mesh. We're just going to be using the hand, so we don't worry about that. So what we'll do once we have this is find our Mr. Static Mesh. And we're going to right-click Convert to Skeletal Mesh. Now, this step is very important. We don't want to choose a skeleton here. We don't want to go skeleton and metahuman skeleton because the problem with the metahuman-based skeleton is that it has not been scaled to the preview mesh that we are using. Remember, metahumans have several types of bodies or several body types, I should say. So we want to use the skeletal mesh. It's not going to use the skeletal mesh. It's just going to take the, the skeleton from within it and we're going to convert it. And this is what we get. We get a static mesh that is no longer a static mesh that now contains the same skeletal mesh or the same skeleton, I should say, that the previous skeletal mesh is using. We have this problem though. It is working, it is, the skeletal mesh is there, but there's no way painting. Now, way painting is telling the bones to use the uh, vertices or to move the vertices. So how do we do that? Again, I said this was a simple process. We need the editing tools. If you don't have the skeletal mesh editing tools enable, skeletal, there we go, mesh editing tools, we gotta enable those. Once we have those enabled, we can go to skin, edit weights, and this is where we would choose every bone and then paint the weights ourselves, which is a nightmare. What we'll do is go to this section down here, transfer weights, preview, use our preview body, it's gonna showcase over there, and we're gonna simply transfer weights. Once the transfers, the weight has been transferred, we are gonna hit accept. And now we got weight painting automatically in a real engine by transferring weights. Now, you saw a couple of issues here. Mainly the head is moving very strangely and then there's this little point here that we may want to fix manually. How do we fix some of those issues manually? We got to go again into editing tools, again into edit weights. And this is where this section becomes a little annoying because Unreal doesn't tend to work uh, too much or to do it correctly. As you can see, it's not really showing the um the way painting even though it should as it is right here this one is showing but this ones are not as if there were no way painting so it's 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 like transfer the weights 
to some of the other bones rather than the one we would have desired to be moving. So probably this, yes, exactly this one is the one that we want to paint. So we would go into brush and we would go and lower the radius of this and we would lower the strength and probably just paint here until we can get rid of that. Let's put the strength at zero and get rid of that spike there. Maybe paint all of this so we don't get anything traveling and maybe probably relax this a little bit more and paint this a bit more black and there we go so let's say we do that we're gonna hit accept and now if we move the upper arm well the correct upper arm there we go we should not be okay again this is a process of love and tender that we need to do it manually again unreal did its best to try and manually weight paint this so uh, automatically weight this the other caveat is it didn't do any neck one neck two or head way painting because the preview mesh does not have any so if you wish to do any of that you need to manually add any painting on that and obviously making sure that we remove any way painting that we don't desire from additional bones to the sections that are closer to the neck obviously if the neck has more priority over it this one will move um less of this and then the necks are going to be moving more so that is weight transfer automatic so that means that now if i wish to bring our new asset here into the world and i am going to put it up here again this is video 3.1 we're going to do all this workflow in blender next but then we have videos one and two explaining other methods once we have this guy here we can now bring it into a cinematic into a sequencer so if we have a main sequencer, again, this guy is using the skeletal mesh. It's now using the metahuman skeleton. So that means that it is compatible with any metahuman animation. Again, obviously, we would need to fix the neck. That is the only problem. It's looking awesome. And the best thing about this is that since it's using the metahuman skeleton, that means that it will comply with the metahuman control rate meaning I can add it automatically on top, in this case, a layer control rate, and it works from the get-go. No rigging, no skinning, no nothing. This was all automatic. Final step means how do we add it to an actual metahuman? So let's bring this blueprint here. Let's go into the outliner and reverse engineer what I did here. We're going to open it up. And it's as simple as let's remove this and let's do it from scratch. We are going to add a new skeletal mesh, stepping on the body, so we uh, automatically add it. Skeleton, there we go, I can't type. And robes, I'm, I clicked on the body, so it automatically creates it as a children. Then I am going to find our asset in the content browser. That means that now it's selected, and it means that I can do this. I can click this little button, and it's gonna bring it over. I can in here modify the positioning if I wanted to, I could move it a little lower or anything like that if I wish to. In this case, I'm just going to leave it uh, maybe maybe it's at lower. Over there, that works. I can compile, save now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to scream at us for a second because we didn't do the final step, which is the construction script. In the construction script, you guys are now going to have this node here. We're going to need to set leader pose. Let's set leader pose component, and it's going to give us this node. And what we want is we wanted to tell it that the body is the new leader bone component and the robes drag and drop are going to be the new target now if i compile and save and i go to here everything is working now we go out now we grab our metahuman blueprint right click add it here it will automatically be adding a layered control rig because it's set to do so the layer control rig works Again, the head is going to move from the metahuman, but the neck is not because we didn't do any correction on the weight painting. If we wanted to, we could. The metahuman facial is also working. And if I were to run any animation in here, walk, we will see that this also works. Once again, we would need to just fix a little situation on the neck. Everything else works. Simulations are going to be applied in a different video, but that's it. That is automatic weight transferring in a real engine to customize a metahuman 
with a static mesh, as long as that static mesh is very, very close to the original posing of the metahuman. In the next video, we're going to take a this workflow, but in Blender. So we're going to learn a little bit of Blender. And in Blender, we don't have the limitation of having it to be exactly posed as a metahuman, because Blender does have a couple of deformation tools that are going to help us. And finally, we're going to take a look at a full body replacement with this same method with a character that has a skeletal mesh. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.